I have been blessed with many mothers in my life who have helped nurture me and see me through dark times. Their faith has sustained me at times when I couldn't find my way. They were and are a light in the darkness, not only to me, but to all their children. My grandmother lived with us when I was growing up, and she was a woman everyone loved. I never met a soul who had anything bad to say about her. Many times I was fearful, and she would comfort me with God's word and pray for me. When I was not following the Lord, she would remind me of Jesus' love for me. And though she passed away in 1990, I can still feel the power of her prayers. My mother, who even though she had many troubles of her own, cared for me and my four brothers through impossible situations. Many of the principles and guidance in my life has come from her. When I had to raise my two children my own and pass through deep waters, she was always there to offer help and encouragement. I would not have made it through without the Lord using her to shine a light on my dark path. My wife, Nori, is a woman who has brought such strength and discipline into my life. She is an encourager and sees good in places and people that I can't. I have watched her grow in the Lord and become a pillar of strength to many. The love she pours out to her children and I can only come from the Lord. I am so glad that God has placed her in my life by my side to be my helpmate. My daughter, who has now five children of her own, as well as many stepchildren, there is a strength in her that only comes from the Lord. She also cares for my mother. I have watched her go from strength to strength from the time she asked Jesus into her heart at a very young age. I am so proud of the woman that she has become. There are so many others too numerous to name that God has used to influence me. To all of you, I say thank you. God has been witness to all the love that you've poured out. I know many of you have read Proverbs 31 before, but it bears repeating as many of these attributes have been displayed by many of the mothers in my life. Starting at verse 10, an excellent wife who can find. She is far more precious than jewels. The heart of her husband trusts in her, and he will have no lack of gain. She does him good and not harm all the days of her life. She seeks wool and flax and works with willing hands. She is like the ships of the merchant. She brings her food from afar. She rises while it is still yet night and provides food for her household and portions for her maidens. She considers a field and buys it. With the fruit of her hand, she plants a vineyard. She dresses herself with strength and she makes her arms strong. She perceives that her merchandise is profitable. Her lamp does not go out at night. She puts her hands to the distaff and her hands hold the spindle. She opens her hand to the poor and reaches out her hands to the needy. She is not afraid of snow for her household, for all her household are clothed in scarlet. She makes bed coverings for herself. Her clothing is fine linen and purple. Her husband is known in the gates when he sits among the elders of the land. She makes linen garments and sells them she delivers sashes to the merchants. Strength and dignity are her clothing, and she laughs at the time to come. She opens her mouth with wisdom, and the teachings of kindness is on her tongue. She looks well to the ways of her household and does not eat the bread of idleness. Her children rise up and call her blessed, her husband also, and he praises her. Many women have done excellently, but you surpass them all. Charm is deceitful and beauty is vain, but a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. Give her the fruit of her hands and let her works praise her in the gates. Happy Mother's Day and thank you all mothers for all that you've done for all of us in the way that you've raised and prayed for your children. Without your nurturing hands, we wouldn't be many of the men and women that we are today.